Let's kick things off with movement. I suggest you use WASD to keep everything nice and simple. Moreover, for your jump bind, let's use your space bar and then let's set sprint to left shift and then crouch to left control. That being said, if your pinky is more on the shorter side, you should swap those around. So left control to sprint and left shift to crouch. In addition, let's set reload to R and then to open doors, chests, and ammo boxes, let's use scroll wheel down. Furthermore, for your pickaxe bind, when I first started off, I found myself confused as to where to put this. But doing a bit of looking and I found the best keybind for it, your tab key. The tab key is super accessible, which will help you a lot with memorizing its placement. But where should your five weapon slots go? Well, placing them on one to five will help you to memorize them easily. On top of that, let's cover building keybinds with side mouse buttons first. So for wall, let's utilize your back facing mouse button and we'll set floor to Q and stairs to your forward facing mouse button. Alongside that, let's place your cone bind on E. To repair and upgrade, this isn't something you'll do often, so use Using G for this is perfect, but to edit your builds, let's use F, and what's nice is, is that it's right beside your movement binds, making it easy for you to memorize. Now let's turn on scroll wheel reset, so let's click the empty box beside your building edit, and then scroll wheel up, and head down to reset building edit, click the empty box, and then scroll up again. Now for another important key bind, your inventory bind, let's put this on X. But that's not all, for those with outside buttons, here's a great combo of building key binds that you can use. I suggest Q for wall, caps for stairs, C for floor and then either V or X for cone depending on which is more comfortable. That being said, if for any reason you don't like the keybinds that I've shown you in this video, I've actually went ahead and compiled a Google Doc with alternate keybind options for those both with and without side buttons so you all have comfortable keybind options to suit you. More crucial settings to help you improve quicker are disable pre-edits which will disable the ability to pre-edit builds which specifically helps you not accidentally pre-edit builds when you're not fully comfortable on your keybinds yet because Trust me, I've been there. The next setting, auto confirm edits set to edit. With this on, you only need to press your edit bind once to confirm an edit instead of two with it turned off. But how do you stay motivated throughout your journey? Well, the first way is to trust the process. You must trust yourself that you'll improve in time and keep moving forward. You only ever fail your journey when you stop trying. But let's get deeper though. I want you all to know that comparison is the thief of joy. If you compare your progression to the thousands of other progressions out there, there's bound to be someone out there that's improved quicker than you have. Now, you can either view that and get discouraged because you're not improving as quick as they are, or you can use that as fuel and push forward anyway. While watching other progressions, don't compare how you're doing to them because you are you, my friend. You're going to improve at your own pace. This is your story, your progression, not nobody else's. There's this image of a guy that's mining and he walks away just as he's about to strike diamonds. Now, this is literally you. You never know when your progression could take a 180 and you just start improving like crazy. It literally could be you after this video. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week, but you never know when you're about to strike diamonds and improve really quickly. Excuse me for holding my mic like a weatherman, but we need to get serious here. But you never know how close you are to achieving your goals and most times you're actually way closer than you think. But the problem is you just lack perspective. Take the course of your progression and you'll probably see that you've already improved quite a lot since the start but it's so easy to get wrapped up in your end goal of actually being good on keyboard and mouse and I get that I've been there myself but that clouds your vision and it makes you lose sight on how much progression that you've made already because if you never quit the only direction that you can go is forward